Hello everybody and welcome to another video. This is for his Retro 81 and um, this is Raiden, Raiden 4. <laughs> Sometimes I call it Raiden because that's what I used to call it before I figured out how you're supposed to pronounce things like that. Um, anyhow, um, we're going to hop in and we'll just kick straight in and let's go with the original and we'll take the plasma laser because then it's not completely useless if we get uh, get it by mistake um so yeah i thought you know having just done uh riding three uh no time like the present to hop in on some riding four um this is much like riding three a great game uh one I do really enjoy. Um, it's a bit, it's a bit easier, I would say, than Raiden 3. But at the same time, it has a few kind of nasty bosses where I feel like Raiden 3 is a bit better balanced in the boss in the boss area. Um, there's a point in this game uh, with, I believe, the fourth stage boss. And that's always kind of the acid test for me as to whether my run's going to go well or not, because I can very easily end up dumping a ton of lives on that. On that, those it's two bosses at once, and it gets a little bit frenetic. Um, but yeah, this is a really fun game. Um, as I said before, I'm a big lover of the uh, Raiden series. Um, always had a lot of uh, a lot of love for the uh, series. They're re really good shooters. Now, of course, what, do you, what would you expect to uh, come out of a silo other than a naked fairy? Um, now, in these two games, the fairy will dump out your power-ups for you, or extra power-ups for you if you get shot. Um, which can make life... It, it can make life easier or it can make life worse, I'll be honest. Um, The trouble with uh, Raiden 3 and uh, Raiden 4 is because there's multiple weapons and some of them are more useful than others, um, it can be a blessing and a curse having uh, having the fairy just dump loads of... Whoa, goodness! Easy now. Um, dump lots of power-ups onto the screen because really, as I said uh, during Raiden 3, I find you really want the red power-ups. Uh, that sort of copies across onto this game um, so as I did with Raiden 3 I'll just uh, slam my way through the first three stages <laughs> I am in a way try, trying to think of uh, extra things that I can add on top of uh, Raiden 3 because basically Raiden 4 is just a sort of more advanced version of Raiden 3 um, as I said during Riding 3, I, I prefer Riding 3, but I've got a lot of, lo lot of love for uh, Riding 4 as well. Uh, Riding 4 is much shorter. Um, the standard arcade mode only runs five stages, where if memory serves, I think Riding 3 runs for seven. Maybe eight, I don't know. I've played it so many times, I can't remember how many blooming stages it, it has. I just kind of do them. But it's definitely a longer game than uh, Raiden 4, and as such, Raiden 4 sort of en ends up a little bit easier. Um, so this is the Overkill version on the P on the PC. Um, so that has a mode that adds two extra stages. Uh, so you know there is there is more potential longevity to this than just the arcade mode with its five stages. And you also get an overkill mode, which I think is more sort of score attack based. Um, I kind of went back to Raiden 3 as my sort of go-to Raiden um, once I'd beaten the uh, <coughs> the arcade and the uh, sort of arcade overkill mode with the full whack of stages on this. So I haven't played the sort of official overkill mode. 
I tend to prefer playing the original arcade versions of these games or the original arcade modes of these games over sort of fancy extra versions. Um, What I think is really cool about a lot of the enemies in uh, Raiden 4 is that they sort of transform into different different forms of uh, enemies and they have all kinds of sort of animated segments and such like. So like this guy is like one big ship that gradually turns into lots of other ships um, which is quite a cool sort of concept. And oof! You have to be a little bit more careful with Raiden 4 than Raiden 3. Um, you'll notice when you're watching both of them that... Oh, oof, oh man! And that's what the fairy does. And as you can see, it's not ideal to just get all that dumped off on you. So I lost all my bonus items there, which wasn't, wasn't brilliant up there going, oh, uh, Riding 4 is a bit easier than Riding 3, gets gobbed in the face. Um, yeah, what I was saying before I got so rudely interrupted was that um, if you watch me play the two games, you'll see that certain bullets can be shot out of the sky um, on the lower difficulty levels. That isn't the case on the higher difficulty levels. Um, I played on a variety of the difficulty levels through the through these ga games, and uh, you know, in general, when I'm playing shooters, I have a play around with the difficulties, especially if I'm able to beat it on the lower difficulties. Um, and I particularly enjoy the game. It's quite nice to have those extra difficulty levels to play on. Ooh, cheeky blighters. Um, so, Ryan Four has less uh, destructible bullets than Ryan 3, I would say, on sort of on mass. So you have to be a lot more careful, especially during boss fights on Ryan 4 versus Ryan 3. Uh, as you'll notice also if you were um, paying score attention during the previous uh, video on whoa, Ryan 3, um, Ryan 4 is quite a considerably higher scoring game. I much prefer the soundtrack on Raiden 4 actually, the, all, all things being said. It's absolutely banging soundtrack. Oof. Easy now. Hi. So generally with these kind of games I will try and, uh, normally I try and play towards a point where I can try and beat them, where I can beat them sort of on one credit. Um, I will generally do a sort of credit feed run where I just continue through the game if it's the kind of game that you can with. Obviously some games use checkpoints, other games use continues, where you can just start back off where you... Oof where you die. So we're coming up on the third boss here. <laughs> That's 
sorry I'm not massively talkative, but this is uh, definitely one of those uh, up close concentration type games. I'm gonna dump a bomb on this guy just for the heck of it. Might as well, I've got seven of them. Again, you can graze on this, but I don't know if it's, it doesn't seem to score you any extra points or anything like that. I mean, even with the destroyable bullets, this, this game gets pretty intense. Take that, you swine! Oh, man! And no riding game would be complete without minions taking a punt at you while you're uh, trying to admire your handiwork. Anyhow, that's uh, riding four. I'm going to call it a day there. Uh, just want to just say thank you very much for watching and uh, peace out.